Hello everyone, my name is Melanie. So today the topic that we're going to talk about is tennis elbow and how to relieve tennis elbow pain. So most people that come in with tennis elbow pain generally experience a pain sort of from your elbow down your arm that way. And it generally happens with people who have work that involve a lot of hand. Uh, wrist motion, so typing in the computer, or even new moms that um, suddenly have to lift their baby up too often, they tend to have tennis elbow, or people who um, whose work is quite repetitive and need a lot of wrist motion, tends to get this sort of issue. So, first of all, when you start to realize that you are experiencing some uh, tennis elbow symptoms, is that you will start having pain right at this tender spot there yeah so the first thing to do to ease the pain is always anti-inflammatory because it's injured and there's inflammation so i always encourage people to take some sort of anti-inflammatory on a regular basis just for a week or two maximum like 10 days maximum and then also ice on a regular basis so, so generally i encourage my clients to put some ice right on the elbow for a good three to four times a day and up to about five to ten minute ranging depending how good you are with um, cold tolerance. And the next thing I normally get people to get is one of the um, tennis elbow brace which wraps around your wrist right there at the bend there uh, when they're working or when they're going to the gym or when they know that they're going to use your hand to put the brace on while they're experiencing pain. Or if they come into our clinic, we'll actually put a rigid tape on them that will look just like a tennis elbow brace to help with their pain. The next thing you want to do is self-massage. So what I normally teach people to do is put a bit of body lotion in your arm and use your knuckle to sort of massage your arm down that way. So you can put it on your laps and then just go down that way. Stroke it for a good two to three minutes and about three to four times a day. If you're going too soft, it wouldn't work. If it's not painful enough or if it's not firm enough, it's not working. Yeah. The next thing that I normally get people to do is stretch. What I normally get people to do is you're going to put a fist and then bring your wrist down into this sort of wrist stretch and you'll feel pull right across your arm, forearm there. All you got to do is hold for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, push it into range a bit more and feel a bit more stretched and hold it a bit longer and then push it further into range after 30 seconds. So you do 30 seconds and you move it into range about two to three times and then you have a break. And then do that, I normally get people to do it every two hours or minimum a good three times a day generally to help stretch out the muscles. And if you do that consistently for a few weeks, it should start easing your tennis elbow. Yeah. Now all of this helps to relieve the pain but it's not a cure for your tennis elbow. Generally to fix tennis elbow we still need to do a whole lot of strengthening after that. So this is just in the very acute phase when you're having a lot of pain because of tennis elbow. That's, when, that's what I normally get my clients to do. So if you're in a highly acute phase of tennis elbow where you're experiencing a lot of pain, anti-inflammatory iced, put a brace on, self-massaged, and stretched. So those are the five things that's going to help to get your pain level down. I hope you find today's video helpful and we will have more update on a weekly basis regarding um, all other health and fitness related issues. So if you're interested, stay tuned. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button down below and also click the red button down below with the subscribe name on it. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.